Hi boys and girls, welcome to math. We are starting a new unit today and the lesson for today is being able to count how many and write the number that goes with it. So let's work on some of this together. So our first question is asking how many horses are in our picture? So it's our job to count how many horses are in the picture and write the number that goes with that amount. So let's look. I see that there are one horse, there's just one horse, so I'm gonna write the number one because that's the number that goes with how many horses. So let's look for cows. How many cows are there? One, two. So there are two cows. And then we're gonna do the same for mice. We see one, two, three, three mice. How many pigs? One, two, three, four, four pigs. How many chicks? One, two, three, four, five. So there are five chicks. Now let's see how many ducks. One, two, three, four, five, six ducks. And now how many birdies that are spread out in our picture? So we're gonna make sure that we're marking each one as we count it so we don't miss any. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven birds. So in that picture, I just looked at the animals and I counted them using my finger, using my pencil, one by one until I knew how many. And then I know that if I have two cows that this is what the number two looks like. So I'm gonna write the number two. So let's look at what you guys are going to be working on. So <clears throat> just very much like what Mrs. Walden just completed, you are going to be looking at the picture and counting how many. So this one we're looking for how many cows. So let's count them. One, two, three, four cows. So I'm gonna write the number four. So you're going to look through this picture and count how many animals and write the number below. So you're gonna count how many ducks and write the number, count how many horses and write the number, count how many pigs and write the number, count how many mice and write the number, and count how many rabbits and write the number. So they gave you an example up here that shows you that there is one barn, so they drew the number one. Okay, so for our next activity, we're going to be doing some comparing. So let's first look at some examples on Mrs. Walden's board here. So we are going to be circling the group that has the most. So I'm going to put some counters down. And I'm going to figure out which group has the most. So I'm going to have some the yellow group. And I'm going to have the red group. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six yellow, and one, two, three, four, five, six red. So I can't circle any. So, but what if I take one of my yellows away? Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six red, and one, two, three, four, five yellow, and I wanna circle the group that has the most. So say to yourself, which group has the most? This one has six, and this one has five. That's right, this group has more, so I'm going to circle it. So let's do another example. Let me erase my board so I can get ready for another example. If I had two red and five yellow, which group has more? Say it to yourself. Which group has more? The yellow, right? Because yellow has one, two, three, four, five, and my reds only have three, so I would circle the yellow group because it has more. So let's go ahead and do one more example before I show you what you're going to be working on. What if I had two yellow and one red? Which group has the most? Yellow, so we would still circle that yellow group even if I took some away because two is still more than one. Good job guys and gals. So let's look at what we're going to be working on. 
So our activity that we're going to be working on, it says count each set of objects and circle the group that has more. So just like what Mrs. Walden was doing is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be counting each fruit and seeing which group has more and then circling it. So let's check out the apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten apples and one, two, three, four, five, six watermelon. So what group has more? Apples or watermelon? Say it to yourself. Which group has more? Apples. So I would circle the apples because it has more. And then let's look at this next one. Let's see how many pineapples. One, two, three, four, five, six pineapples and one, two, three, four, five grapes. So what's bigger, six pineapples or five grapes? Six pineapples, good job. So remember we are circling the one that has more after counting each one. So if you guys have any questions about any of this, have your parents message me on Dojo and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.